Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm finally back with another tutorial, and this is 3DS Max. So, earlier on, I explained how to create buildings. Um, I'm gonna extend that by telling you how to create ground. How to create ground. So, this, if you actually followed it, I. I basically explain how to create buildings. Now, what if you want to create ground? So, open up Phidias Max and create a plane. Any size you want, just to fit the ground. So, just drag it out. Okay. And once you have done that, make this is important. You want to make the segments to um, 400. Now, explain later. And it might be white, but just ignore it. Next, you want to go to the modify and add a displace. So, displace somewhere here. Um, where is it? Displace. Okay. This is what we're going to be using to um, create the ground. Now, y you have to load a bitmap. And a bitmap is something like this. Like <clears throat> a bit map, what you could get a bitmap by typing height map on Google image search and find one. I use this one, I believe, and you could also use this one. You could use any one you want here. Okay, so oh yeah, and click on it, right click, save image as, and then save it wherever and call it, and save it as a JPEG. And back to 3ds Max. You want to load a, the bitmap now, so click on the non and load it up. I have mine right here. So, yeah, this one. I like using this height map. Um, open. And now it's the bitmap is actually on your plane. Okay. So now <coughs> you want to. Play with the strength. So, I want to show you here. If you turn it up, you'll see that the ground is forming. Yeah, it's right here. And if you don't have 400 segments, as I said in the beginning, it's gonna not be like this. It's not gonna be like ground. So, that's why you need 400 segments. And I guess you want to make it like whatever you want, like, you know, some ground you want, um, and you could also play with the other settings here, there's the length with the tile, like, you know, the tile link, you could do that, but just, I'm just gonna leave it as it is, uh, what else, okay, now, if we render this by going here, it's all green, so we need to add a texture. Okay, so to add a texture, you need, you need to hit M. You want to click the diffuse and add a bitmap. And the bitmap, you just want to go to the bitmap, go where you have it in. Um, to get bitmaps, or Texture, just type in ground texture here. And ground texture, you can use, like, find a decent one what you want, and you can use that texture, okay? And again, use the same tactic, right click, save, save image as. I like to use this one. Open. Now, you want to make sure you have your plane selected, and you want to hit, you want to assign it to your plane, and then if you want to, you could view it in your perspective, or your viewports. So you have to hit this to view it, and there you go. Um, and then that's done with texturing. 
So now we have uh, ground. Okay, and of course you could scale it if you want to reposition it. Okay. Um. Also, you could add a camera and make a scene to this. So, and one more technique. If instead of using this place, you could use um, edible poly. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So, um, select it, right click, convert to edible poly. Again, this one you have to have 400 segments. Okay, so you wanna scroll all the way down to the paint the formation and set the brush size and the push value. And I'm just gonna pause this. Um, you could actually use this little tool. I'm gonna show you how it's done. You click push, pull, and you wanna. We're very close here, actually creating some detail, and you could also use this to, you know, to um, do whatever you want. Uh, well, that's it. I'm gonna, you know, do some more tutorials. So thanks for watching, and yeah, and stop.